YouTube. This is Jay Xavier Sports, and the Jaguars will play their third preseason game this Saturday, the all-important dress rehearsal preseason game, as we all know in the NFL. The third preseason game is the most important because you get to see uh, your starters play the most amount of minutes in the game, probably about uh, the first half and then probably about a, a possession or two in the third quarter. We'll see how long uh, Doug Marone chooses to to put the first team offense out there this, uh, this Saturday versus the Falcons. But um, yeah, there's a lot of storylines heading into this uh, Falcons game. Um, but first I wanted to go ahead and touch on the, the guys that we missed the last game and uh, you know, uh, talk about some guys coming back to the team this week. Uh, we got Jeremy Parnell. He's been out uh, for most of the preseason period and, and uh, training camp. So we're getting to see him uh, play Saturday. That's a good thing that he's uh, starting to get healthy. Uh, our first round draft pick, Taven Bryant. We have yet to see him play in the game yet this preseason, but we should be able to see him Saturday. I know if he's still um, in pain or um, injured at that point, I know Doug Marone will probably hold him out if he feels like he's not ready to go. But from everything I've heard, it seems like he's ready to go and play this Saturday. So that is a, a big plus. That's good news. I'm really excited to see how Taven Bryant uh, you know, works in this offense. And then Deshaun Gibson, he missed uh, the last game versus the, the Minnesota Vikings. So um, that's when you saw Ronnie Harrison start last week. So we got a couple of our guys coming back. Um, obviously, Jalen Ramsey and Dante Fowler Jr., they'll be coming back to the team, coming off a suspension, uh, you know, uh, with Dante Fowler uh, fighting him, uh, fighting with, you know, teammates, and you know, including Yannick Ngakwe, and then Jalen Ramsey criticized the media. So that's why those two were suspended. And obviously, Jalen Ramsey, we've heard him, uh, the GQ article that came out and got released a couple a couple days ago, uh, uh, last week before the Minnesota Vikings preseason game. And, you know, we heard the criticism he made on pretty much all the quarterbacks. You know, he gave some praise to some guys, but Matt Ryan, in particular, he called overrated. So, um, I'll be interested to see that matchup uh, this Saturday. This will be probably the third third preseason game in a row where you can say that uh, it's a Super Bowl preview uh, matchup. So definitely we played probably the best three teams in the NFC these first three preseason games. So it's definitely a good test to see where our team is and where we think our team is going to be. So um, uh, also Austin Safarian Jenkins, he should be playing in the in the game versus Atlanta Falcons as well. I want to see it you know, some kind of production amongst these tight ends. And our tight ends right now aren't really giving us much. And then uh, Cody Davis, our safety. I know he plays mainly special teams and whatnot, but I, I, I would want to see him on the field in the uh, second unit just to see how he is on the field, just in case any of our guys get injured. Uh, we know that we're good in that department. Let's shift gears to Blake Bortles. Around this time last year, Blake Bortles was on the outside looking in as far as is he going to make this Jaguars roster? I mean, there were actually questions, you know, whether or not he should start or be cut. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Chad Henney and Blake Bortles were in a quarterback competition uh, on week three in the preseason last year around this time. So, man, what a difference a year makes. You know, Bortles took all that criticism. Uh, he won the job. He took his team to the AFC Championship game, helped take the team to the AFC Championship game, had a mistake, uh, mistake-free playoffs. Uh, these last playoffs and then you know we saw the potential that he has we saw the things that he can do and where he can carry this team so uh it's cool you know kudos to Blake Bortles and his journey hopefully he takes it even further and we you know win the Super Bowl with him you know uh either next year or the next couple years but I'm definitely happy for Blake you know all the Blake criticism we hear in national media uh it's it's almost constant you know after every bad game or turnover or whatever um, and we saw in the Minnesota Vikings game, he struggled a little bit in the beginning, but we saw the good Blake Bortles when he bounced back and had the 12 play drive and end up scoring. So, um, you know, I think the national media just needs to calm down a little bit. You know, all this talk about Teddy Bridgewater uh, getting traded to Jacksonville uh, for Dante Fowler, or, or, you know, whatnot, the Jets putting it out there that the Jaguars are interested in Teddy Bridgewater. They, they just need to stop the nonsense. Now, clearly, I believe Teddy Bridgewater would be a, you know, a better fit over Cody Kessler as a backup. But as a starter, I believe Blake has already proven in the NFL that he, he is a starting quarterback. And I just think no matter what, he's going to get that stigma of being 
uh, just a guy that sucks. You know, you know, everybody's gonna constantly have that in their head, no matter what. He can have a just like last year, he had uh, a stretch where he was throwing for 300 plus yards a game and uh, wasn't turning the ball over. And just like I said in the playoffs, he didn't turn the ball over at all. And he can have one bad game after that, and people are going to criticize him uh, for everything that he he did. So. You know, Blake Bortles can never win. So that's why I said as long as he plays his game and he has uh, faith in his game. We saw last year, nobody had faith in him, but he had faith in himself. And he ended up he ended up winning the job and doing something that I, I don't even think a lot of Jaguar fans believe he could do. It's very cool to see our team, you know, take a 360 degree turn pretty much from this point last year. And just to see where we are now, uh, hopefully we can continue to take that forward um, into the next, you know, this, uh, this last preseason game and then the fourth preseason game, obviously, we're not going to, you know, it's going to be a bunch of backups playing. And then, you know, as this training camp period winds down, the offseason period winds down, you know, hopefully we stay injury free. And I'm just really excited just to see how this team is going to look. To cap off the video, uh, two positions I would like to see. One I touched on earlier, but two positions I would like to see us improve in dramatically. Uh, this third preseason game would be tight end. Like I said, Austin Safarian Jenkins is coming back uh, to play this Saturday versus the Falcons. And then, you know, we've seen Niles Paul and uh, James O'Sarnashi uh, have their moments. You know, I've, I've seen them get open a couple times and, you know, and whatnot. But it's, you know, it's the, the tight end play is looking, not looking really too good so far. That's just from my perspective. So hopefully Austin Safarian Jenkins, uh, you know, looks the part this Saturday. And then linebacker, you know, we saw Leon Jacobs. Uh, you know, impress everybody, and that's pretty much a steal. You know, having drafted him in the seventh round, and for, you know him possibly be a, a starter on one of the best defenses in the National Football League, that's a big deal. So, uh, Dave Caldwell, he's he's done it again. The draft magic hat has opened up again and pulled out Leon Jacobs. So that is a good thing for us uh, Jaguar fans. But the depth behind him, though, is you know it's not looking too good. I like Donald Payne, honestly, but um, we'll see, you know, how he plays in this, this third preseason game. And as far as linebacker goes, the Jaguars also did sign uh, Nick DeLuca. I don't know too much about him, honestly, um, but, you know, hopefully that provides some good depth and uh, we get to see him play this Saturday. But definitely make sure you guys um, watch the game this Saturday. It's at 7 o'clock versus the Atlanta Falcons. If you have tickets, go ahead and go to the game. Um, I, me personally, I don't really like going to preseason games as much of a Jaguar fan as I am. I just think the preseason games are really boring, in my opinion. Uh, I'd much rather just watch it on the TV, you know, sit on my couch and watch TV. Now, Sundays, you know, that's different, you know. Uh, you know, actually being, being able to experience uh, a live NFL game, actually, you know, that's different. But preseason, I'm not really, you know, I don't really get too excited to go to a preseason game. But if you have tickets, definitely make sure you support our team. If you, if you don't feel like going, make sure you watch the game. Uh, definitely leave a comment in the comment section to me. Uh, let me know what you guys think about, you know, this all-important third preseason game. I can't wait to be on this journey with the Jaguars, you know, covering them and posting more videos this year. It's going to be a fun year. So, um, yeah, man, uh, I love you guys. Uh, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video. Other than that, go Jaguars. I'll see you guys next time.